Okay, so first of all, select the values and then go to insert and insert a 2D clustered bar chart. Then add error bars to the chart. Then double click on the chart to open up the formatting bar and I will reposition and resize the chart. Then select the actual bars themselves and change the fill to no fill to get rid of the bars. Then select the error bars and in order to change the length of these bars, we need to change the error amount to a custom amount and then specify value. And the positive error values will be these values here and the negative error values will be these values here and OK. And then we'll format the error bars. So change the end style to no cap and then change the line color to be black and make the width a little bit wider. Then change begin arrow type to the diamond here in order to put a diamond in the middle of the line and then change begin arrow size to the biggest one available here in order to make the diamond bigger. Then at the moment, the studies are in the wrong order. And in order to fix this so that they are the same order as they appear in the table, we need to go to axes options and tick categories in reverse order. This puts the horizontal axes at the top. So to change this back, we need to go to horizontal axes crosses and change it to at maximum category. Then delete the grid lines and select the horizontal axes and go to axes options and change vertical axes crosses to axes value. And I'm going to change this to one. Then select the vertical axes again and go to labels and change label position to low in order to get a vertical line at the number one. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a forest plot in Excel, and that is everything.